Hi, my name is Barb Tremlett. I'm the beginner's expert. And right now I want to talk about life coaching. Um, there's so many avenues for life coaching. Life coaching can cover anything from working through mental illness, spiritual emergencies, or even helping you make a decision in your business world, your family life. Um, in general, life coaching is simply a uh, coach listening to what you're saying, helping you from an outsider point of view clarify your choices and then help you look at the positive and negative of the choices and help you discover your potential and your road to success and what you need to do. Life coaching uh, can be done on many different levels. Uh, where I work, we do life coaching for business. We help people with their choices in following their passion or following where they want to make their income. Um, and in some of those choices, there comes the choice of, am I in this for the money? Am I in this for the love of the job? Um, so there's a lot of different choices about business coaching. As far as personal coaching, um, what we're finding is during this time of enlightenment, as we are getting closer to 2012 and as we're going forward, that a lot more people are becoming um, aware of the passion in their heart, becoming more aware of, hey, something's missing and I, and I, and I want to find that. A lot of times in life coaching, what we do is we help you find your spark. We help you figure out what it is that um, you feel that you came here to do. Um, many people ask the question, why am I here? What am I doing? And in life coaching, what we do is we assist people in finding that piece of themselves. Um, we help them nurture it, um, accept it as valid, because a lot of people don't think when they figure like, oh, I want to help people as being valid, and it, and it is. Um, unfortunately, between belief systems and what society has told a lot of people or what they've picked up through the years, they don't believe what they wanted is valid. We help you validate what's in your heart. We help you validate that if your body has a wonderful reaction to the fact that you want to be a helper of some kind, we want you to respect that feeling and we want you to know that life coaching can help pull that out and help you uh, figure out where you want to go with that. So life coaching can be directed at your passion, um, your job. It can also be directed at making family changes. Now, a lot of people feel that traditional psychotherapy is the way a lot of things need to go. Um, we're not here to argue that, say it's good or bad. What I am saying in life coaching is that in a lot of cases, the sensitivity of life coaching is to sit back and help someone dissect the relationships in their life, figure out which ones are actually healthy for them, which ones are helping them grow and love them and support them, and which ones of their relationships are more toxic and maybe um, help them make a decision whether, you know, I want to keep this toxic, <laughs> toxic relationship going or is this something that maybe I want to take a break from in my life and pull back and see if my life gets better. Um, so we work with that piece too. Life coaches also help with the spirituality pieces. Um, a lot of people um, feel that they have a calling to be closer to their, their source or their God or their loving, nurturing energy. We also have life coaching that helps support that in that we want you to be the best you can be. And if you have a spiritual calling, we want to help you nurture that and help you bring that forward. We want you to be able to um, step into your calling of spirituality. So life coaching can cover a lot of different topics. There's even more. But I'm Barb Tremlin. I'm the beginner's expert. And my goal is to give you many ideas on many topics. This one was about life coaching. There's a lot more involved. You'll hear more about it as we get down the road. But thank you very much. And if this is something you're interested in, please step up and try it. Thank you. Namaste.